Hello and welcome. We've got 2 Samuel chapter 8 today. Now after this, it came about that David defeated the Philistines and subdued them. And David took control of the chief city from the hand of the Philistines. He defeated Moab and measured them with the line, making them lie down on the ground. And he measured two lines to put to death and one full line to keep alive. And the Moabites became servants to David, bringing tribute. So these lines could have been either by height to spare the younger folks, or it was common in other eastern uh, kingdoms to spare one out of three, which was very interesting and unfortunately part of being a prisoner of war. All right, verse uh, three here. Then David defeated Hadadezer, the son of Rehob, the king of uh, Zobah, as he went to restore his rule at the river. David captured from him 1,700 horsemen and 20,000 foot soldiers, and David hamstrung the chariot horses, but reserved enough of them for 100 chariots. When you cut the hamstring of the horse, it disabled them for military use. Verse 5. When the Arameans of Damascus came to help Hadadezer, king of Zobah, David killed 22,000 Arameans. Then David put garrisons, which were pillars or statues, among the Arameans of Damascus, and the Arameans became servants to David, bringing tribute. And the Lord helped David wherever he went. David took the shields of gold, which were carried by the servants of Hadadezer, and brought them to Jerusalem. From Betah and from Barothai, cities of Hadadezer, King David took a very large amount of bronze. Now when Toy, king of Hamath, and I guess that means he had toy soldiers, <laughs> sorry, heard that David had defeated all the army of Hadadezer, Toy sent Joram, his son, to King David to greet him and bless him, because he had fought against Hadadezer and defeated him, for Hadadezer had been at war with Toy. And Joram brought with him articles of silver, of gold, and of bronze. King David also dedicated these to the Lord, with the silver and gold that he had dedicated from all the nations which he had subdued. From Aram and Moab and the sons of Ammon and the Philistines and Amalek, and from the spoil of Hadadezer, son of Rehob, the king of Zobah. Verse 13. So David made a name for himself when he returned from killing 18,000 Arameans in the Valley of Salt. He put garrisons in Edom. In all Edom he put garrisons, and all the Edomites became servants to David. And the Lord helped David wherever he went. So David reigned over all Israel, and David administered justice and righteousness for all his people. Joab the son of Zeruiah was over the army, and Jehoshaphat the son of Ahilud was recorder. Zadok the son of Ahitub and Ahimelech the son of Abiathar were priests, and Sariah was secretary. Benaiah the son of Jehoiada was over the Cherethites and the Pelethites, and David's sons were chief ministers. So now you know. So this book is going to get into a lot of historical events that you're not going to want to miss. So please stay with me. We've got a lot to cover and I hope to see you tomorrow. God bless you. Take care.